Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. Recently, Microsoft held Ignite 2022 event where they announced some exciting features for Microsoft Power BI. If you are working on Microsoft Power BI, then you must know about these features, which are going to help you to create some amazing reports as well as to sharing with external users. So, if you really want to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about all these features. The very first point is SharePoint and OneDrive. Now with the help of Microsoft Power BI's latest feature, you can directly save your reports to OneDrive or SharePoint. As we know, in our companies, people generally love to interact with the SharePoint because of many reasons. Now with the help of this feature, you can directly save your reports to Microsoft OneDrive or in SharePoint. From there, you can directly click on the reports and you can interact with them easily. This would reduce a lot of workloads and unnecessary interactions, especially for the executive level employees who generally interact reports directly in their SharePoint or OneDrive folder. Next is cross-tenant sharing and B2B discoverability. With the help of this feature, you can make collaboration easier and more fruitful across organizations. Suppose you have already invited some other employee from another organization into your domain where you can share your reports and dashboard with them. Now, when you would publish your reports into the Power BI service and when you are going to share it with the other organization, then you would see another tab that is appearing over there on Power BI service, which is gonna say from external organizations. That means if any other organization is sharing any data sets with you, you can utilize that from there to generate your reports and insights on the top of that. Here you can access external data sets in your own tenant, build composite models on top of it and share the report. Not only that, it is easily find and access reports, data sets, folders, metrics and other artifacts in one place. Next to that is optimized ribbon in Power BI Desktop which is going to improve the direct query report experience when dealing with the large data models. This new optimized ribbon menu includes option to pause and refresh visuals, queries and optimization presets for query reduction and interactivity. This is gonna help you a lot while you need to optimize your reports and dashboards when you are establishing a direct query connection with any of the database which is supported the direct query. Lastly is the automated migration tool from Azure Analysis Service to Premium. Power BI Premium now goes far beyond the functionality available in Azure Analysis Services. This is going to simplify and accelerate your migration experience from Azure Analysis Service to Power BI Premium with an automated migration tool. Now you can directly log into Microsoft Power BI Services. From there you can connect with your Azure Analysis Services and there you can deploy your Azure Analysis Services Cube directly to Microsoft Power BI Premium Workspaces. With the help of this feature, now you can directly create reports using the Azure Analysis Services Tabular Model. And not only that, please remember that automated migration tool from Azure Analysis to Premium offers a lot of other features too. That means in Azure Analysis Services, you can do XML endpoint, large models, Azure log analytics, object level security, backup restore, asynchronous refresh, query scale out, which are under development right now. But this is going to lead to a lot of other features. All these features you will get when you are going to start working with automated migration tool from Azure Analysis Services to Premium. These were the top four features that I wanted to discuss with you. If you have concern or if you have any question, please do let us know. Also, if you want us to make a dedicated video on any of these features, please do comment in the comment section. This is not it. There are other announcements too that happened in Ignite 2022. One of them was deploy faster with Power BI in Office Installer. That means you are going to get Power BI as a bundle with Microsoft Office Installer. You would also get embedded metrics in Power BI to drive team alignment. You would get quick create SDK software development kit for Power BI embedded. Also, you would get contextual on object interaction with Power BI visuals. Very soon, you would find data model editing in Power BI service. 
Now you can enhance sporting reports connected to very large data sets and last but not least manage Power BI reports and data sets as a part of Power App solutions. Everything you are gonna get soon in Microsoft Power BI. Some of these features are already available but maybe some of them are not available yet which are gonna soon available for you. Please connect with us for training and consultation. If you have any question or concern, please don't forget to let us know in the comment section. Also, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI updates and videos. See you soon in the next video.